Hi, Mikael Adler, Leap into the Void here. I'm going to show how to extend the length of a Massive's Performer, which is good if you want to create a fill-to-cut pattern with a bit more variation, or for gate pads and rhythm beds and sounds like that. The example patch I played here is from uh, Leap Into The Void's latest massive sound set, Thou Serpent Continuum, and it's uh, available now. It's also part of a Divine Darkness uh, bundle of four sound sets at 50% off full price for a limited time. I want to give a quick explanation of the sound figure theme used here it's a saw LFO assigned to the amplitude of oscillator 1 and a performer using this extended length technique assigned to the amplitude of oscillator 2 a second performer assigned to amplitude of oscillator 3 I'm going to turn off oscillator 1 and 3 to play this extended performer sequence. As you can hear, it toggles from the upper row to the lower row. So we'll start with a new preset and I'll walk through how this is set up. Now we'll start with choosing the performer and the performer with the 16 steps. We have the upper row and the lower row and we have the cross fader which enables selecting either the upper or the lower row. What we want is to make the performer play the first 16 steps and then automatically move the crossfader so it plays the second row, which then will be steps 17 to 32. And this can be done by modulating the crossfader so it kind of toggles between the upper and the lower row. And to do this we'll need a square LFO assigned to the crossfader. I'm going to set the performer to sync and the LFO to sync select the square shape and turn up that crossfade knob then assign the LFO to the performer crossfader if the performer ratio is set to 116 the ratio of the LFO should be set to 2 one we'll assign the amp of oscillator one and we can create a pattern here And it sounds like this. It's also possible to assign it to the cutoff of a filter. We'll choose the scream filter here.
So this is how you set it up. Hope you can explore this further. It's possible to create a lot of different uh, rhythmic stuff. We could extend this perhaps right now with uh, using a stepper assigned to the amplitude of the performer. Set the step to sync. One four should be a good number. And create a smooth curve to give it a bit of variation. Check out the uh, Thou Serpent Continuum and Di uh, Divine Darkness. 